everybody! Today I'm doing a little do-it-yourself project for your Project Life because I'm making some Project Life uh, cards with watercolor and uh, this masking fluid or liquid frisket it's called I believed and it's, um, it's a masking fluid so you can mask off certain parts of your paper I have this uh, really old watercolor set, it's from Simply Art and I don't know where I bought it but um, I hear on YouTube all the time you can get this kind of uh, watercolor set at Michael's or something um, so yeah I'm going to use that and I have some paper this is uh, Stratmore mixed media paper with a vellum surface. I like the uh, surface to be smooth, that's why I chose this. You can also use watercolor paper or any other paper that uh, holds on water really well. So, yeah. I'm going to cut the paper down to the size I want, and I think I'm going to make it. Um, 4x6 and maybe a small 3x4 card it's just when you get you know, get the idea you know you can make as many as you want oh I have this thing uh, that's better so this is gonna be at 4 and I hope my knife is still okay my blade Oh, yeah, and then at six, and then at three, and this one is maybe also just oh. ah, that's nice. I have so I out of this one sheet. I have two 3x4 cards and one 4x6 card, or at least at this part, because I have this much left. And I'm going to protect my surface because I don't want to get it all wet and stuff. So I'm just using this glass um, cutting uh, thing because yeah, it's handy. So uh, when you use liquid frisket, it's probably best if you use one brush for it because it gets in the like in the bristles, and you have to clean it right away before, or else it will gunk up all your uh, brushes. So yes. And this is from Vallejo. I think you can get it everywhere. And this is what happens. That's okay. So I'm going to put hello on here. I just looked up a picture on Pinterest because I'm not good at a script or anything, but I like the look. So I always try to um, copy it. And when I see the picture, it's easier for me. And um, yeah, just try. That's my best advice. So and you can go go over it if it's not good. So that's no problem. And I I did I I want to write um, scripts, so I did practice. Uh, a few times not really especially for this video but just in general uh, so it's going pretty well pretty proud of myself mm, whoop. so then I see if I have any spots that aren't really thick because um, sometimes it's the the watercolor slips through but that's also a nice look so you don't have to do this if you don't want to but I just want to make sure not too much gets in between so yeah 
and maybe it's nice because May is coming up if I um, put down May here or will that mess this up oh I don't know well I will leave, us, leave it uh, at this for now so I will close this and then I will clean my um, brush for a bit just with a baby wipe and then uh, later on I will clean it with water but yeah well don't want to go to the sink right now so. and I use this brush only for uh, the masking liquid so that's okay um, well maybe it's easier if I did the 3 by 4 card first so this is the first and it has to dry for a little bit it doesn't take very long but it takes a little bit so yeah clean it um what am i going to put on here just a heart maybe that's nice maybe sometimes i just um make random cards and i just see what i can use them for later and sometimes it's easy if you um um, plan ahead so you know what you want to make and I put my cards like this um, horizontal and these vertical because uh, that's the layout I use in my project life and maybe it's nice to put something funny like this happened and then you can if you want to write small, um, it's maybe easier if you use a smaller brush because it's not very precise. No, this is not what I want. So, no, I don't like this. So, I just um, can take this off for now. I'm just using the back, I think. It has to dry for a little bit, so I'll be right back. So I just uh, turned the card over and I'm going to try again and I don't know what I want to do. Um, um, yeah. I think it's fun to make a, like a stripey pattern so I'll be right back and I get something to uh, lie underneath. So I have some regular printer paper and I'm going to make stripes because I think that will be fun. And it's okay if they don't, uh, they aren't exactly because I think that will be fun. Maybe not all, but some. So yeah. You can measure this out, of course, but, well, I don't like to measure, so I do it like this. Uh, that's okay. So, that are my stripes, and again, clean my brush right away. Close this up. I don't know why I do that, but I do that always, because, yeah, well. So... Clean enough, and then I will wait until the all the cards are um, dry, and I will come back to you with the watercolor. This one is dry, and um, it's a little bit um, glossy, but I sometimes touch a little bit to see if it's dry, and it doesn't stick to your finger fingers. It's okay. So then I take another brush, this is just a regular brush I use for many things and I like the fact that it's a bit bigger because if I have to do a whole background it's easier. And some water of course in my nice painter's cup and then I'm going to wet down a few colors. I think I'm going to do pinks on this one because I just really like pinks. So, and I don't really have a good um, um, explanation for 
how I do this I just put down the color as I think it will look nice um, just a bit random and it's nice if this if the color puddles up in some places because it gives a nice effect and then a different color and this pink is nice but it doesn't really come off very good you can see it it's very chalky so I don't get a lot of color from this but I like the color so I always try and you can also um, blend it into each other and that's most easy when it's wet I, I think so maybe some of this color I don't know maybe a bit dark but okay so yeah that's nice and it's best if you cover the whole word, word because um, uh, then you can see it's most so it's nice um, then a bit of that other color again so I like that one And then I'm trying another bit of this color. And you can make like a rainbow or just anything you want. And you can choose every color you want, of course. I like to stick to like um, three colors, sometimes two, not to make it too busy. Um, so, yes. That's it for this one and we'll just let that dry and now on to the next so this one isn't dry exactly um, because I put a whole lot of uh, masking fluid over there so I can't use this one yet and I also can't use this one yet because it's also drying so as, as you can see you can also see it a bit I will try to focus it for the camera uh, over here it's just still wet so we have to dry this for a little bit and then we'll come back these are dry now it took maybe one or two minutes and I just waved it around like this to dry it so on to the next one and well it's tempting to make this pink but maybe it's nice if I did like a bluish purple because I really like that, so I'm going to use some purples and again wetting the watercolor and just putting it on and no really anything special again mixing some colors, oh this is getting a bit of the same maybe some blue And another blue. You can do it however you like. I just do. I, I don't have a really good explanation for what I do or how I do it, so I can't give you any advice on that. Sorry, my camera stopped, but I didn't do anything else. So yeah, just um, put some random color down and this one is done, I think. So yeah, don't do anything more. Less is more, they say. Huh? And then this one, the stripey one. 
and I'm going to do that with the yellows um, because yeah I really like it and a bit of orange because I like this orange color and yeah, you can also go like this of course but I think this will look nice um, So I'm just repeating the same steps. Maybe I'm going to put some pink in there because I don't like really like that this is so plain. So yes, it's a bit of an orange pink, so that's okay. And again, some yellow, just mixing some colors. So yeah. So now we just wait for the street to dry. Uh, it's better not to use a heat gun and uh, a masking fluid. Um, I don't know why I heard that once. Um, and I just let them air dry. I don't really mind. So yes, let's do that and we will come back. They are dry and now comes the fun part, rubbing off the liquid frisket, so, or the masking fluid, just like you want to call it. And I just go over with my finger and then sometimes you get like a string and you can pull it off or you have to rub with your fingers like this. So you can pull off the masking fluid and then just go gently. It depends on your paper. Sometimes a little paper comes with it and it also depends on how thick you made your masking fluid. But this is going pretty well and it doesn't leave a whole lot of um, um, little pieces of uh, masking fluid. So that's nice. Oh. And I will speed it up for you so you don't have to watch me <laughs> doing all this. But it's nice to look at, I think so. <laughs> I'm gonna, just gonna leave it in. This one is my least favorite. I also uh, rubbed a bit too hard and the paper come up, came off. Maybe because I used too much of the masking liquid. But I'm still going to put it in my stash because maybe I can cover it up or something. Or put... Well, it's a waste to throw away. Uh, this one I really like because of the colors. Uh, my heart isn't perfect but it's okay. I did it myself. And uh, I put... Can maybe put love here or something like that and this one I really really like uh, I think it turned out pretty well I like the colors I used and yeah so that was my quick tip for uh, making your own project life cards with watercolors um, I hope you try it out it's really easy and fun to do and you can um, customize your cards as you like so you don't have to Wait to wait for somebody to design the card you really really want. So yeah, try it out. And if you have any questions about 
this or um, the masking fluid or the watercolors or anything else like that please let me know and I will answer uh, them for you um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe with the red subscribe button it makes me really happy every time I get a subscriber and uh, yeah so thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon thank you bye are my favorites I love stickers and these look already really cute oh these are so cute these hearts they're really really small but they are so cute and also nice colors and get two sheets